good afternoon from Malacca. Arrived here last night by bus from Penang. Took me 10 hours. Hate those long bus rides, man. I try not to really drink anything because if I do, I'm the one that has to pee like every 30 minutes. So I try to stay away from that stuff. And then I'm just sitting on the bus, just hungry, thirsty, miserable, just waiting to get the ride over with, but uh, nothing less. We made it. We're here. We are now exploring because a little bit early than I anticipated because I went to check into my hotel and they won't let me check in yet until 3 p.m. Usually it's about 2, but I don't know why they have it at 3. And then I'm like, come on, just let me check in early. She goes, okay, if you want to. I think she said it's going to be 50 ringgit to check in early or 50 ringgit for every hour that I want to check in early. And then I said, you know what, dude? F it. Never mind. I'll go take my ass on a walk around the city. I don't need to pay a bunch of money for uh Hang on, that car is trying to run me over. I don't want to pay a bunch of money just to check in early. Like, you know, I'll just leave my bag there. So yeah, so now uh, we're cruising the town of Malacca by foot. And I'm making my way over towards the Doubletree by Hilton because uh, I heard they actually have some good restaurants over here. But speaking of good restaurants, look at this. Western food. Ooh, what do they have here? Spaghetti. Do I want a burger? I don't know, man. Maybe, uh, should we go check out the menu? Western cuisine. Ooh, that actually looks like a, a good place. TWS, the windmill station. So if I can't find anything down here by the Hilton, then we're gonna go back there and try that. All right, so I actually have to search up what to do here because I kind of came here on a whim. My goal is to make my way south. That's why I came to Malacca from Penang because Penang is like way up in the north and before that I was in Langkawi. So yeah, make my way south and then after Malacca going to Johor and Johor is just right across the river from Singapore. So then work my way into Singapore and then when I'm done there then work my way into Indonesia and then after that I'll probably leave Asia and go somewhere completely different a whole different continent wherever that is your boy don't know yet either Europe Africa or South America I'm not really sure I know Europe's hella expensive right now so I might save that to the end. But again, we'll see. Nothing is confirmed. It's just stirring up in this head right now. Oh, there it is. The Double Tree by Hilton. But I don't see any of the nice restaurants they were all telling me about. What the heck? Oh wait, is that one right across the street? What is this? Korean barbecue. Maybe. Okay, let's cross. But yeah, it doesn't really look like there's much around here. That says like something mall, but that actually looks to be closed. And Korean barbecue is actually pretty good. They got like steak, Ooh, chicken thighs, steak, beef burger. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. What is this? More Asian cuisine. Thank you, but no thank you. Not right now. Made up my mind. We're gonna walk our ass back to that Western cuisine food place. It looked really promising. Gotta go there and try it. All right, now. I try to take a shortcut because I've been walking and 
in my head I think I know a shortcut so we'll see if I get there or if I pop out at some random place and I have to look it up on my phone but yes we are on our way Western cuisine here we come baby oh by the way don't mind the little man boobs this backpack is super light anything that you put in it like pulls it back and you can see my little my little manis so don't make fun of me okay look i'm gonna pull it forward just to show you they're not actually there there's not a whole lot happening man i mean i guess it's only like 12 45 one o'clock so maybe that has a lot to do with it all right let's cross the street no cars we're good car we're not good yeah we'll come out later and then see what it's like look at what we found my shortcut worked see we know where we're going tws the windmill station great western food since 2000 that's kind of awesome a little a little fancy huh ah okay let's see how does this work hello can i sit anywhere okay okay i thought you had to go up and order but i guess not so i walked up to the front like a bone homer you know how it is every new place you don't know what to do so you just kind of figure it out as you go along all right cool now let's check out this yummy western cuisine can you guys see that They better have burgers here. Ooh, a steak. Oh my God. I don't, oh, burgers, yes. Okay, when I figure out what I want, I'll turn you guys back on. Peace. Sorry guys. I forgot to film the burger that I already ate. <laughs> Oops. So obviously I went with the burger. So, you know something I find kind of weird? Is they don't serve ketchup at a lot of these places I go to here in uh, Malaysia. I've asked for ketchup so many times and nobody has it. They just have like this red chili sauce thing. Why? I thought that was like worldwide. Just left that restaurant. Burger was decent. Fries absolutely sucked. I won't go back there just because of the fries and the coke the coke was horrible it was flat it's like i was drinking just syrup only <clears throat> and uh yeah i still have like an hour and a half to kill before i could check into my hotel at 3 p.m so now uh we're gonna go back over by the Hilton because remember I saw a mall over there, but it looked to be closed from across the street. So this time we're actually gonna walk up to the door and try to open it and see where we get. And uh, yeah, I think I could burn an hour and a half at that mall, maybe at least an hour because it'll take me 30 minutes to walk back to the hotel. What is this? Is this a mall too? mall and residences nice we'll try both all right see you there or maybe not because what the heck am i gonna film in the mall you guys just want to see me walk around and that's it just walk oh look at this look at that Ooh. <laughs> All right, we are already almost here. So, yeah, you know, we gotta go uh, check it out, see if anything is even open. Which I don't know, it all looks closed to me.
Element Mall. Why is every place I go to like completely deserted? I don't understand. Look, there's one security guy just chilling. Oh yeah, everything is closed. I think it's still like super new. Uh, who knows? All right, so now what the hell are we gonna do then? I don't know, man. Sometimes when I walk across the street, I forget which way traffic goes. In the US, traffic goes right. Here it's left. So when I cross the street, I'm looking right instead of left and I've almost walked out into the street in front of a couple cars before. I just randomly decided to get a haircut right now. So this went from a what am I gonna do video to now a haircut video. 15 ringgit for a haircut, which is about $3.50. Sounds good to me. So the haircut I want is let me show you the go-to haircut I always seem to get uh, like this a uh, two and then short as you go up so yeah that haircut you guys know I told him I'm a little sweaty, but he said that was okay. Am I your only customer so far today? Not, not many people. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Is this your shop? Sure. Yeah, this is your place? Yeah, your haircut place? job before you cut hair? English? Sorry? Um, what, what did you do for work before you cut hair? In Malaysia three years. Oh, you lived in Malaysia three years? Do you have any kids? A wife?
Do you flow? Am I film? Yes. Flow. Vlog? No, no, you flow. Oh, USA. Yeah. And California. I live uh, near Los Angeles. So fast. Oh, my God, your finger. I would have chopped my finger off by now. Uh, texturizing. I've been told I have to take care. Cutting hair is definitely like an art. All right, back good. Um, one thing. Shorter hook right here. Thank you. I got my hat. Okay. Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Put it in there. Okay, okay. I guess I don't have to wear my hat. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Oh, wow, that smells really good. That smells amazing, actually. Yes, I like it. Good job, man. YouTube channel? Uh, yes. I small channel, oh. but my last haircut video did really well. Oh. I'll show you. Oh yeah, we good. Yep. said 20? Yeah. Oh. No, no. You, you said 15? Uh, 15, yeah. I'm going to give you 20. Oh. You keep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, your phone? YouTube? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me. Okay. All right, guys, we're, we're finally looking good again. He did a good job. Grab my phone. Oh, and notifications. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> Grab my hat. Grab my bag. All right, man. Hey, take care. Thank you. See you. Bye. Oh. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Almost walked off without my glasses. Need energy. That is the question. Oh, they have one of my favorite ones. The Monster Ultra. 
zero calories, baby. Okay, we gotta get it. We got to get it. Just that. Six, ring it, okay. Perfect, thank you. All right, let's go. Shit. I always do that. I always push a pull door. Anyone else do that all the time? I push a pull door or pull a push door. All right, let's throw these glasses on real quick. Got my monster. Come on, let's crack this baby open. Zero sugar, zero calorie. Mmm, that's good. I love it. Gotta stop drinking this shit though, man. It's not good for you. Yes. Okay. Now, do we head back to the hotel? I don't even know what time it is. Let me look. Hang on, bear with me here. 2.03. So we have 57 minutes. It'll take me 30 to walk back to the hotel, unless I just lollygag. But damn, dude, I feel fresh right now. Got that fresh haircut. My neck kind of burns in the back because he used a razor. And I have sensitive little baby skin, so I can't be using no razor like that. Especially with no like shaving cream. He just dried that shit, dude. Straight razor to skin. Eh. I turn all red. You know, I'm that guy that gets all those breakouts if I'm not careful shaving. Even my face. I hate that shit. Ooh. Should we get some alcohol? Very tempting. Very, very tempting. And I could still smell this hair gel. This shit smells good, dude. My God. I like it. That was the random haircut video. As you guys saw, I didn't plan that. Wasn't even thinking about a haircut. I just happened to walk right by it. I saw like the little barber pole thing, I think. And I saw him just sitting in the chair, no one in there. I'm like, you know what? Today's a good day for a haircut. Right now is a good time for a haircut. So yeah, we randomly did that. And as you see, kind of quiet, kind of a boring haircut video. He didn't really speak too much English, which you know, obviously we're in Malaysia. I should be speaking Malayan 100%. But surprisingly, uh, a lot of people actually speak English here. Almost every person I ran into speaks English here in uh, Malaysia. So, yeah. He was a cool dude, though. Cut my hair good. I even asked him to, like, go up higher with the shave. And, yeah, it was no problem for him. I love it. Okay, back to the hotel we go. We're gonna lollygag though and take our sweet ass time.